me the headlines of your life so we know a little bit more about you before we start. Sure. So obviously I have a uh, disability. Um, I think the technical term for it is being very handsome. <laughs> Where would you like to be? Do you want to see yourself as a touring act, TV, or Vegas? When I was growing up, there was nobody that looked like me on television, so I kind of want to be the first one that's doing all that. I want people to be able to look at what I'm doing. Good. All right, well, good luck. Thank you so much. Thank you, thank you. So I love being a stand-up comedian. This is what I always wanted to do. Uh, I have had other jobs in the past, though. Uh, I used to juggle chainsaws. <laughs> it went well for a while. Uh, I had to get out, couldn't take the politics, is what it was. <laughs> the other thing I wanted to be was a pro wrestler. Um, that's the absolute truth. Uh, I had a name picked out and everything. I was gonna be the cripple threat. <laughs> good. That was... Oh, that was clever. But people will ask me dumb questions all the time. I'll get this one a lot. They'll be like, hey, Ryan, is that genetic? <laughs> yes. Uh, because you see, my mom was Irish, and my dad was a lobster. <laughs> Kids are the worst, though. Oh, kids are the absolute worst, though, because kids don't have that filter. You know, if a kid says you're ugly, you're ugly. All right, deal with it. <laughs> Buy a hat. I don't know what to tell you. I had this eight-year-old girl recently uh, come up to me, and if you're ever feeling pretty good about yourself, let an eight-year-old girl verbally kick you in the nuts. That'll fix that for you. <laughs> uh, but this little girl, after she saw me, and after she screamed, after screamed, it was a big scream, uh, which, side note, has led me to a new game that I play, uh, now when I'm out in public and I see a child staring at my arms, I like to pretend that I'm discovering them for the first time, too. I'm like, what are you? Oh, my God! What happened? And that's why I'm not allowed at Toys R Us anymore, so... I'm Ryan Nemo, you guys. Thank you so much. I think you are amazing. I, I'm just curious, why have you not had the break you're looking for yet? I think part of it is having a disability like this, it's really hard to kind of break through without people thinking you're a novelty act. Uh, I've had the booker tell me, ah, oh, well, I don't think this is what we like. This isn't what the people want here. So. He's the one with the disability, not you, trust me. Yeah, that's why you're here. Yeah. Thank you. You are brilliant. You are real. You are authentic. You are funny. You are a star. There is not a room that you should not be allowed to play in, and I believe that you should be in the finals here. I love you. Thank you. Thank you so much, I appreciate that. You're freaking funny and I just want more. I want to know your next tour date. I'm gonna be your roadie. You're brilliant. Thank you. I mean, literally everything about you just screams, I am awesome, I am funny, I am the real deal. Hit him with a dance. Howie, yes or no? Yes. Two yeses. <laughs> yeah, got three yeses. Thank you. Uh, I actually know how many people are in this theatre, so you have 4,104 yeses. <laughs> Thanks for watching, and if you like what you're watching, and you, first of all, I want you to subscribe. So press subscribe, and if you want to see more, just click on, uh, there's gotta be something around here to click on. Just whatever it is, click on it. Enjoy.